Lorianne, you are a professional woman who is in the workforce, in the marketplace, and you are also actively involved in your church. What is your role, uh, or what do you see professional women in their role actively within church? Well, I think a couple of things. I think, first of all, professional women assume that at some point they're going to go into ministry to really walk in it, whatever it is that the Lord has in store for them. And it was really interesting because Brian Houston was at Gateway about uh, five years ago, and I've been in the workplace all my life and just assumed that at some point God was going to pull me into ministry or God was going to pull me to do something in the church. And Brian said, uh, you know, God will use you where he plants you. And it was in that moment that it really dawned on me. I'm salt and light. I'm salt and light in the workplace. And I'm not necessarily needing to do something physically in the church, although I can be a mentor to young women that are in the church that are corporate or working women in the church. But more importantly, I can be salt and light and I can be the church in the workplace. And I think that's the important thing for a lot of professional women to take away is that they don't have to find necessarily a spot in the church, that it's up to them to take that piece of church with them into the workplace. That is an amazing component um, to, to bloom where you're planted, whether that's inside or outside of church. And the end goal isn't a ministry job. For some people it is, but for some people it's to stay where they are and like you said, be salt and light. So what are some, some tools or some handles for people who are in your position? You lead a large team, you are incredibly influential, uh, what are some tools that you would give other women who are in the workplace that might help them succeed and reconcile in their own heart where ministry plays a role, where their work life plays a role, and where they intersect? I think one of the things that they have to do is find other women that are like kind and quality to them. So whether that's in your church or in a small group or other women within the, the organization or the corporation that they happen to be a part of, uh, because you're going to need to have that base of relationship and it's always easier to build a network when you don't have a network. So you need to go out and you need to make sure that you're building that network and have people that you're able to communicate with and have others that understand what it is that you're doing. Um, I think it's also very important to make sure that you're really re well ground in what it is that you're comfortable in communicating within the workplace. Uh, you know, we're all being told constantly you have to watch what you say and you can't say this or we're going to call HR and all of these different things. Uh, I think being an example and being light and salt for people and I keep going back to that terminology because people are drawn to that as opposed to you going in and deluging them or dousing them uh, with your Christianity. I think uh, you show them a lot more by being a true example so I think being partners with people in the marketplace that are already in there that are embedded in church to be the mentors and then on top of that then I think you need to have that relationship to where you're able to communicate with others and then uh, to take that in and be salt and light. Thank you for being salt and light in a place that is dark and flavorless. You are paving the way for so many to follow and so thank you so much for your time. Thank you.